Welcome to the homework for lesson 10. This is module 5 of grade 3. Please write your name first. Each fraction strip is one whole. All the fraction strips are equal in length. Color one fractional unit in each strip. Then answer the questions below. So each strip is a whole. This is more important than you might think at first that this little statement says that because fractions are not just numbers they're they're units they're fractional units so if you're comparing different fractions it's very difficult to compare fractions from different size holes and just think about a, a slices of pizza a slice from a small pizza is not the same as a slice from a large pizza if they're both one-eighth of a pizza. So here we have color one, fra one fractional unit in each strip. So these are halves, so I'm going to color in one of the halves. And for the third, I'm going to color in one of the thirds. For the fifths, I'm coloring in one of the fifths. And the fourths, I'm coloring in one of the fourths. And for the ninths, just one of those. And now we're going to use those pictures. Let me zoom out a little bit so we can use the picture because it's the, the whole reason it's there is to help us with this. It says circle less than or greater than and whisper the complete sentence. Very important to actually say this out loud. Uh, now it may sound silly to somebody else who's not really paying attention to what you're doing that you're just saying fractional comparison sentences out loud but it really matters to have some practice saying this out loud so don't skip doing that and I know it's hard to get third graders to actually say things out loud either because maybe it's too difficult to say or they're not sure what to say but if you're just doing your homework by yourself then uh, it doesn't matter if you say it wrong and you're here I'm here to help you figure out how to say it but it's important to not just hear somebody else say it, but to say it yourself. So please practice saying it yourself. All right, enough. One half. So here's the half. And we're comparing it to the third. Well, is it greater than or less than the third? Well, you can just look at it like it's a bar graph. And uh, it's greater than. So one half is greater than one third. And we'll look at B. One ninth, and we're comparing one ninth and one half. And one ninth is less than a half, so we're going to circle less than, and we'll just say one ninth is less than one half. Clean up some of these marks here. For C, we're comparing one fourth and one half. And one fourth is less, so one fourth is less than one half. For D, we're comparing one fourth and one ninth, so one fourth is you can tell it just looks like they're right next to each other, it looks like it goes it's bigger, maybe more than twice as big. One fourth is greater than one ninth. For E, we're looking at one fifth and one third, and you can see that one fifth is less than one third. One fifth is less than one third. For F, we're comparing one-fifth and one-fourth those two and one-fourth you can see it goes a little bit farther you, these are all comparable because the endpoints are all lined up for the holes so it's easy it's easier to look at and you can just see how far out how far it sticks out one-fifth is less than one-fourth and for G we're comparing one half and one fifth, and you can see the one half sticks out a lot more. 
one half is greater than one fifth, and I've said it. And for h, six fifths. This one's a little bit trickier. So here well, I'm going to use a different color for that. So six fifths. So there's the fifths. And we would need six of those. So I need another whole another one drawn onto the end. And three thirds would take this one, that one, that one. You see, six fifths would be one more. It's going to be a little bit. Three thirds is going to be the whole strip, but six fifths is going to need it one more fifth onto the end, so it's going to be greater. Six fifths is greater than three thirds. And you may notice this. You probably talked about it in class. Um, you may notice through all these comparisons that it's um, the larger larger fractions have smaller denominators. That's kind of the big idea. Or you can say it the other way around that uh, smaller fractional pieces have uh, have larger denominators. But that only matters when you're talking about the same whole. After his football game, Malik drinks half a liter of water and one third of a liter of juice. Did Malik drink more water or juice? Draw an estimate to partition and explain your answer. Okay, so um, these are both fractions of a liter, so they're fractions of the same whole. So we can draw two strips. And you could do you could draw circles too if you wanted to, but thirds are hard to draw for circles. But if you really determined, you could do it. So this is the water. I'm going to label them: W for water and J for juice. The water is half a liter, so right in the middle. And I'm going to label it one half, and then. We need thirds for this one here. That's about as close as I can get it. And I'm going to label it and shade it in. Now it really helps if you have like I did, you'll notice that my my endpoints are matched up. It just helps to draw holes that are about the same, but it also makes it easier to make these comparisons when you're looking at them. You can see the half sticks out farther, so you know it's more. So we drew an estimated to partition. We did that. And now Malik drank more water half of a liter is more than one third One third of a liter. Use less than, greater than, actually this is greater than, less than, or equal to to compare. And that's what we're going to write in these circles. One fourth, and we'll assume that these are all fractions of the same whole. So that's one fourth of the same thing that this one eighth is. So whenever you see these, I know I made a big deal of mentioning that in the first one that each fraction strip is one hole. It doesn't say here. We're just talking about fractions of holes. There's no units for these. So we'll just assume that they're fractions of the same holes so we can compare them. One fourth and one eighth. Well, remember that rule from the first page that uh, smaller denominators means 
um, means larger units. So one fourth is going to be greater than an eighth. And between sevenths and fifths, if I did chop up a candy bar into sevenths or fifths, fifths would be larger because if you're sharing with fewer people, people get more. The fifths are going to be larger. And we have one eighth and one eighth. Those are the same. It's just two different ways to write the same thing, so they're equal. And here we have one twelfth and one tenth. One twelfth would look like that as a fractional unit. As a fractional notation, I mean, sorry. And so we can see the larger denominator is the twelfth, so that means the tenth is larger amount. One twelfth is less than one tenth. And we have a fifteenth and a thirteenth is one thirteenth is written like that. So we have um, the larger denominator, the fifteenth here, is going to be the smaller piece. So one fifteenth is less than one thirteenth. Then here we have three thirds and one whole. Well, three thirds is is the same as a whole, and I think we did that. When we looked at this on the first page, we had all three-thirds shaded in. That's the same as one whole strip. So we already mentioned that one. We know that that's the same that's equal to a whole. So those are equal. Write a word problem about comparing fractions for your friends to solve. Be sure to show the solution so that your friends can check their work. How about... Which is greater um, three fourths of a pizza? Or three eighths of a pizza. And you could say large or small or whatever, but there's lots of different questions you could ask. It doesn't have to do that, but just make sure if you're comparing fractions, you show equal holes. So, remember my rule about fractions with circles? I'm using pizzas. You could use candy bars and draw in rectangles. That's fine. You use different fractions. Um, for eighths, and the lines for circles have to go through the center. So, eighths are going to be... There's a half and a half. Now we have fourths, and now we have to cut each fourth in half again. And those aren't exactly perfectly <laughs> equal, are they? But that's as good as I can get it, really. I'm not that great at making these. I'm just trying to slow down and... Now we'll shade in three-fourths. Just lightly shade in three-fourths, because we want to be able to see our fractional lines. And then three of these eighths I'll write my answer to my own question. Fourths is greater greater than three eighths. And again, that's only if they are both if they are both the same size pizza. So if these are both small pizzas or both large pizzas, then you can say that. But if one's a large and one's a small, it could come out, it could come out differently.